we are going to learn to model a dolphin inside a blender. This is my fifth video tutorial on introduction to blender. So we start by importing a picture. Shift A empty image just three on the numpad and the empty is in the world it should be uh, view so press 3 again see the wireframe for the time being what we do is we can delete the cube so that we can see the empty placeholder for the image so right now the empty is not facing the right way so we'll do one thing let's delete this empty go back to a right orthographic view once again empty image instead of world make it as view okay and then here from here you can open the dolphin image let me just download it okay so we have the image here and of course now we can start modeling there are several ways to model and by far the easiest is box modeling shift a mesh cube it's too big so with s we scale it down s scale it down further g drag it to the center and press tab get to edit mode and press 3 for the face selection mode select the front face go to the right view press e for extrude G for grab, G Z, R for rotate. You're just blocking out the shape. E for extrude, S for scale, G for grab, Z direction. We just blocking out the we can select this and scale it down. Now what we can do is come to the wireframe, control R, cut loops, then two more loops here, control R. Move the scroll button to increase the number of loops. Press 1 again for the vertex mode. Now we adjust the vertex vertices as we see in the picture. Okay. G grab. Move it. G grab. Move it. So 
so press Z again come to the solid mode this is uh, how we have just blocked out the dolphin so we will continue our dolphin in the next second part so to continue from where we left off uh, press free again for the face selection select the front face E for extrude S for scale Z and get to draw wireframe mode Control R cut a loop here one for vertex selection G for grab gradually shaping up the dolphin again same thing back side three for the face selection E for extrude R for rotate, G for grab, S for scale, now what we do is, now there is a trick here, now we can shift to the top view pressing 7 on the numpad and cut a loop in the middle, control R exactly in the middle what we are going to do is we are going to apply a mirror modifier so that if we model on one side the other side will be taken care of so we will delete one half z for transparent view select one half any half it can be either left or right We delete. Make sure you don't delete. You delete only one half, not the other side. Okay, once we are sure, press delete and delete on the keyboard and delete the faces. Right? You can just hide the empty and see. Yes, it is right. Now we, we project the mirror modifier in the object mode. And we add a modifier here. It's called the mirror modifier. Mirror modifier is here. Now what we can do is we can enable clipping and we can increase the merge value so that the themes don't separate ok control S they are merged and let us get to the basic first create the basic shape go to wireframe again and maybe back to solid mode press 3 for face selection E for extrude extrude the back fin 7 for top view R for rotate S for scale E for extrude again S for scale G for grab, R for rotate, I'm getting some kind of a shape. Keep saving, Control S, keep saving. And for the top fin, what we can do is 
Okay, the knife tool. Cut. This much press enter. Three. Select the top face. Three. Side view. E extrude. Yes, scale. R rotate. G grab. E extrude. S scale. G grab. R rotate. E extrude. S scale. G grab. So we are getting the basic shape. Okay, then we we'll cut certain two two more loops here. Control R, press Z. Maybe we cut a loop here. Maybe okay. Nice. And what we do is this one we can actually level level the this edge so that we are able to Bevel only this is for the fin. Bevel edge control B. This much should be okay. Now three phase selection. We can extrude out the fin. G grab. R rotate. S scale. We extrude. Take uh, this not the right way. Right here, the clip it. Three for the face selection. Okay. What's happening here? Why is this showing this way? Okay. Hmm, maybe select the F is to fill no faces fill ok you can try one thing you can delete these faces by creating problem these are edges loose edges we delete them. This one also we delete. Now we fill the face. We can scale it. Oh, we can grab it and move it. We can cut a loop here, of course. 
grab it. That's how we're getting the shape. I think this video has been long enough. We'll pause here and continue in the next video. So we continue to model a dolphin. See in the side view, it's Z wireframe. Now what you see here is that here a bit of adjustment is one for the vertex selection. You for grab shaping the mouth the extra faces we could delete and even for the eye socket we got to cut a loop maybe two loops here one for press one for the vertex selection move this vertex where the eye is and let us chamfer or maybe bevel the vertex and get an eye here grab There's three for the face selection. The grab. Three for face selection again. to shape up a bit it's squarish looking so we need to take sometimes the edge or sometimes the vertex inwards to shape the body gradually Take it in, take it down, take it down. Otherwise, the body look, looks squarish. Take this up, take it up. Similarly, take this one also up. Take it up, take it in. Take it in, take it in. Take this one also in. Take this one also in. So gradually we are shaping up the body. And this one we can. Uh, this edge. We can take out this edge. This face from the eye. It also could be rot rotated a little bit. And this vertex could be dragged um, outside. And ultimately we could press 3 and delete these faces. To get the mouth. extrude scale G and gram extrude scale G grab take it in to form the eye socket Control as save. Now, to give our dolphin a smooth look, we could apply a subdivision surface modifier to it. 
even before that we could do the clipping and apply the mirror modifier apply it now we could take a subdivision surface modifier and apply it so that our dolphin looks smooth okay guys so we are done with like the empty we are done with modeling our dolphin in the uh, we can of course we can tweak this thing here it seems to be some overlapping some problem here mm -hmm. There seems to be some issue here. What's the issue here? Okay, hardly anything. Okay, doesn't matter. Let us uh, reapply a subdivision surface modifier. Maybe one. One level should be okay, otherwise it becomes too heavy. So our dolphin is done. So in the next video, what we will see is how to create UVs for the dolphin and texture it. The modeling part is done. Next. Uh, we can, if you want to improve the shape, we can start with sculpting it a bit, improve the shape of the tail, and maybe creating UVs and texturing our dolphin. That will be the next project. Bye for now. See you.